So what I have here is a shoelace. This couldn't be any more different than the solid stainless steel eternal ring that was examined by this gentleman here. We'll let you take a look at the frail finite shoelace, okay? Make sure it's real. Couldn't be any more different, could it? Right? We've all broken a shoelace before. We, we know the frustration, right? But it's real? No trap doors? No hidden compartments? I've often wondered, is there a connection between the eternal and the infernal? <coughs> I mean, the finite is what I mean to say. We know the only way on is over here. Would you hold the ends? Okay, and if everybody, here's the secret. I went to see the guru at the top of the mountain. I said, what is the secret to this miracle? He said, it's in the breathing. You have to dig deep, breathe in deep, and as you exhale, you do an utterance. And as you do the utterance, your lips will quiver together, and that is how we harmonize with the space-time <laughs> continuum. <laughs> so if everyone will work with me, you'll hold it tight, and uh, it goes like this, you go, <laughs> 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 Terrific. I didn't even know we had Ralph Macchio in the house. But that is the secret. A lot of people are unaware that this is, comes down many thousands of years from a, a great sage, a writer named Hermes Trismegistus, who told us that the universe is made of vibration, you see. So this time, well, you hold the ends and you'll hold the ring. Uh, you hold the ends. Don't make her reach so far. Be a gentleman. Okay, are you ready, everybody? <laughs> Reach down, everyone come up together. <laughs> right? I'm telling you, this is some freaky stuff. Look, you can rest the ring on the string, you can rest the ring and the string together, but the only way on is over here unless you vibrate. <laughs> it looks pretty funny, but it's serious business to the to the practitioner of the mystical arts. Would you hold this side? Hold it tight, tight, tight. I want everyone to realize that's on there. That's not going anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a knot. Yes? We're going to make a second knot. Remember, two knots do not make a donut. <laughs> that's science. We're going to have a little spin so it catches the light. And we're all going to vibrate together at the same time on a one and a two. And I might... <laughs> I would like to think that I am like the eternal ring. I would like to think so, but I know I'm more like the frail finite shoelace, although not skinny like you. <laughs> I would like to be that, but I know I'm a person, and over here is the surface of the earth. Beneath the surface, we don't realize there's more to us than we thought. Sometimes we meet someone over here, not realizing that beneath the surface is a connection, right? You feel like you met your twin flame, your soulmate, and still they ghost you. <laughs> Other times you get closer, right? Maybe you fall in love or you get married even, you tie the knot, right? And then there's no beginning and no end. You can't tell where you begin and they end. Not even your underwear drawer. <laughs> it's like the, the husband's closet doesn't even come with the apartment. It's in the moments that we realize the truth that all is one. Oh.